Hello and welcome. My name is Armando Roggio and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a custom PHP or PHTML template to Magento CMS pages. And what exactly do I mean by that? Well, you're looking at a CMS page. This happens to be the home page. I accessed it by going to CMS up here on the top and then selecting pages, uh, selecting the home page and now the design tab. And you're going to notice this column for or this field for layout and in here I can choose a template. I've got uh, all the choices that you see right there. And I can assign any one of these to the page in view, which in this case again is the home page. This is important because it gives me greater flexibility and latitude when I am developing a package or theme than if I had simply changed one of the templates that already existed. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to add your custom template to this list so that you can assign it to the pages that you're working on. I need to start by creating a template uh, placeholder, if you will. If you really wanted to, I suppose, you could develop the template first. But I think it's a whole lot easier to actually develop once you can see it on, on page. So if you put it in that uh, drop-down list, you'll be able to do that. I'm going to go to my Magento install. And I'm using 1.4.1.1 uh, for this video. I'm going to go to App, Design, Front End. My package is default. And the theme that I have running right now is Modern. So within this, I'm going to go to Template, right here, Page, because we're looking at a page template, and right here is where I want to be. Um, in this folder, I need to put my custom templates. And the way that I'm going to do this as a placeholder is I'm just going to copy this three column here, paste it, and rename it. And uh, the most recent Magento uh, project that I've been working on, I also used a, uh, I guess a CSS template that's 12 columns wide. So I'm going to name this 12 columns PHTML, and that's my first step. Just have to put this file in here. Again, it doesn't really matter um, that it's a copy because I'm going to work on it later. The next thing that I need to do is I need to mirror some of the core folders in Magento. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go over to App and then Code, what you're going to see is I've got core files right here, and I've also got local files. This is actually one of my favorite features uh, in Magento because what it allows you to do is adjust what are clearly core files or core functions and then not have to worry about breaking the site or uh, worry about things happening as you upgrade. So what we're going to do is again recreate some of the structure that's inside of the core and then once we've recreated that I can put some files in there and Magento will actually read those local files instead of the core files again great feature so what exactly will I be looking for well what I'm gonna be looking for and I like to go into the core to figure out what I want so I want core mage or I guess that's mage and then I want to come to page and then inside a page I want etc and then this is actually gonna be the file I'm looking for this configuration file so I'm going to go back now. I know it's core, which I'm going to replace with local, then mage, page, etc. So I'll come back here to code. I'll go to local, create a new folder. Remember to capitalize my mage. Inside of mage, I'm going to create a new folder. Call it page. Inside of page, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it etc. Inside of etc., I want to put a copy of that configuration file. And so I actually have another uh, window here. Um, try and organize these so that you can see them more readily on screen. But that path, again, this time to the, the actual core file is app, code, core, mage, scroll down a little to page, etc. And I'm going to take and just copy this configure XML file, paste it right over into uh, my local folder. Okay. Now, once I have that pasted in, I'm going to drag it over to Notepad++, which is a handy dandy uh, code editor. Reposition this one as well. And 
what I'm going to just do is sort of go down through, and it won't be very hard to find, but I'm looking for this section right here where it says Page and Layouts. Highlighted it there for you. And what these are are a list of the possible templates. You'll notice empty one column. Here's three column down here, which is what I had it set to originally. And so I need to begin by inserting my own uh, entry, if you will, for my template. I'm just going to copy empty. And I guess I'll put it in front of empty. Paste that in. I like to fix the spacing a little bit. I probably could have copied that better and had it work. Now, what I need to do is change this tag right here to reflect the name of uh, my particular uh, template. Um, as you can see, this is an XML tag. describes what it is that you're looking at. Um, so I don't want to use empty. I also don't want to start it with a number. That's going to break things. So I'm going to use T-W-E-L-V-E. -E, and I'll follow the pattern of these other templates and then just put 12 uh, columns like that. Now I need to change the closing tag to match. Okay. This is translate. It's going to tell uh, Magento what to do when it translates the language uh, from English to something else, say. And so I need to put my nice label right here. This is what will show up, by the way, in that drop down. Next, I need to identify where that template lives. And I put that template right in that page folder. So uh, this is actually pretty easy for me to update. And I'm going to give it a handle. And I'm going to, again, follow sort of the pattern of the other handles and call it 12 columns. And that's actually all that I have to do with the configure file. That part is done. Unfortunately, I'm not all the way done. I have another file that I need to address. Um, this file is called mageall.xml. Uh, and let me just navigate over to it. It doesn't really matter. I had a couple of these uh, windows open. It doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to go to app. Okay, and if I went all the way to the top again, it's app, etc., modules, and there you can see that the file I want is uh, mage all XML. I'll drag that over to my code editor, and in here, what I'm looking for is the page module. You can see these are all modules right here, and if I go down, I eventually find one that says page. Remember, we're working on CMS pages, so this actually makes a lot of sense. And I'm going to adjust this code pool to local. And I'm going to save that. Take a little sip of water. With that file saved, I am pretty much ready to head back into admin and see if this worked. But one of the things I'm going to do in that administration panel is to check on the cache management. Uh, you can have a big oops and wonder what's wrong and hate this video if this configuration section is being cached and you'll find that it doesn't update the back end. Um, I could have changed this setting, right? I could have selected this, changed the setting to something other than enable. What I'm going to do though is just flush the Magento cache. It takes a second to do this, but eliminate all the files that are cached even on the back end and this way I can check to see if my changes are in place. I will let you know that if you move around a little bit in the back end it may ask you to log in again because it probably got rid of your login credentials as well. We go to CMS pages and if I've done my job right when I go to home page and to design I should be able to choose 12 columns right there as the template for this page. Now again I still have to go actually out and modify uh, the 12 columns template but in this way once I have that modified or as I'm developing it I can assign it to the home page, the about us page or any other custom pages that I create using the CMS function in Magento. Again, my name is Armando Roggio. I hope this video has helped you learn something today and inspired you to work more in this great platform. Have a great day.